Welcome to the era of AI. Hello there and welcome back. In this lecture right here, we're going to go ahead and format our book into a Word document because we need to get it prepared for Amazon Kindle app or Kindle Create app that can help us to format the book in KPF, which is the suitable format to upload the book onto Amazon. But as of now, I would like you to go and open up a Word document inside of your computer. Of course, if you're using Microsoft Word, uh, which I assume most are. Here, I want you to just click to open up Word. And once that's opened, I would like you to do the following thing. Here, we have this little insertion button. If you click it, you can actually insert an object. That object should be text from a file, and then you should go and start inserting things step by step. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and I would like to go right about here to the documents. I'm going to start off by uh, basically uploading not the book outline, leave that because the book outline, we're going to create it ourselves using Microsoft uh, Word or Doc in Google. And here, I would like you to click right about here. We're going to add the medical disclaimer first. So insert medical disclaimer. That's good. Now I would like you to go back, click on insertion again. Click here on object. Make sure to select from a file. And then let's go for the copyright page. Once that's said and done, I would like you to click on insertion again. Click back on object. And then let's go to chapter one. Now in chapter one, I would like you to just select both of them. They're basically placed in a good order from one to two. So they're going to be placed in that subsequent order, which is quite good. You can see here, chapter one, sub chapter one, and then sub chapter two, that is good. Now, before we keep going here, you have to fill this information. So let's say that your name is, of course, depends. Put your name in there. You can also put your publisher address, which I'm not going to do here in this case, but you can put it in there. And let's go back and click here, set the cursor at that particular stage, and then hit the insertion button, then go back. Now I'm gonna click insertion again, and then click right about here on object, click text from a file. And now let's move on to chapter number two. Now in chapter number two, all I gotta do is I gotta select these. And now it's just easy from here. We just gotta go back and do the same process over and over again. Click on insertion, click here, click text from a file. And then I gotta head right back in here, click on chapter number three. There it is, insert, there you go. Let's keep going. So I'm gonna click insertion again, click on object, click text from a file, and then come back right about to chapter four, select the elements of chapter four, put them in there, then go back here to insertion, click right about here on object, text from a file. And then what I wanna do, I wanna go to chapter five this time around. I'm gonna select all the elements of chapter number five, insert them in there, click insertion again, click on object, text from a file. And then what I'm about to do is I'm gonna make sure, put the chapter number six in here, select everything, place it right over there. There you go. Now let's go back, insertion again, object, or I'm not gonna insert an object in my, I'm gonna insert a uh, chapter. So insert object text from a file. Now this is chapter seven that's coming. So I'm gonna select chapter number seven by inserting both sub chapters. And now we got our entire book written and it's pretty good. Now here, this is the book. Now we need to format this book. So let's go ahead over here and make sure that we save the book on our computer and give it a name. So what I'm about to do, I'm gonna actually go to my downloads. I'm gonna place this book right over there and I'm gonna say Word Manuscript because this is not the final version, right? So, okay, the name of the file is not valid. Sorry for the noise. Okay, so right now I got the file taken care of. Now I would like you to go to Google Docs. So go to docs.google.com. Here, start a new project by clicking on blank, blank document. And I would like you to follow this step by step. So right now, what we're about to do is we're about to click here on file. And I would like you to click on the upload feature right over here so I can click to upload open, click on open, and then go to your own computer and upload a particular file from your computer. The one that we need to upload is the one that we have just created right now, which is this one. So the book is getting uploaded. It's not a large book. 
and we need to edit the book's fonts and stuff. So here, let's wait for everything to be uploaded. You can see that everything is uploaded in due part. I would like you to select all of the book's text from top to bottom. All right, so once that's selected, I would like you to do the following. So I'm gonna click right over here. I'm gonna switch this to Arial, which is the font that I prefer. I'm also gonna switch the font size to about 12. I'll leave it about there. And I would like you also to click right over here on line and paragraph spacing, make this 1.5, and then also click right about here, add space before the paragraph, add space after the paragraph, which is good. Now you can see that the chapters are pretty much all formatted right. So you don't need to do anything else. Uh, everything is formatted properly if you have followed the teachings of this particular course right here. But if you want, you can check. So this one is obviously heading number one. This one is a heading number one. Um, this one right here is a heading number one. This one is a subheading. You can always change them if you want to, which I would advise you not to do. Now, as far as I'm concerned, we are ready to go ahead and to basically uh, get this done. So let's go ahead and let me show you how you can format this into a KPF format. In order for you to be able to do that, first of all, you would need to download the Kindle Create app, which exists here. So Kindle Create app. If you install the Kindle Create app, which basically you can find it right about here, you'll be able to format your books. So here, as you can see, you can download it in Windows or Mac, and you should go to kdp.amazon.com. Do not trust any suspicious links. Now, once you've done that, here I would like you to go and open the Kindle Create app in your computer. It's called Kindle Create. It doesn't take that much time to download, by the way. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So while it's being opened, I would like you to come back right about here into your file and make sure to give it this, give it a name. So I'm going to actually say doc format. And then right about here, I would like you to click on file, download, and I would like you to download it as a Microsoft Word doc X. Now, once you do that right now, we'll just wait for the Kindle Create app to open up. Once it opens up, I would like you to click open an existing file, right? Uh, well, we can actually create new, but uh, here, double click on this and then click on continue and then choose a file from your own computer. So go to your downloads, whatever it is that you stored the file that you want to use. So it's vegan healing and it's the second one is the doc format one. Once you do that, it's going to take some time for it to import. In, in, in the meantime, in between, you can go ahead and actually take a cup of coffee or do something in between. You can watch some video to entertain yourself. And once it's done, you will actually go inside of the um, inside of the book, which pretty much is actually very easy to do. So let's just wait a couple of minutes or seconds. All right, so the import was successful. I only need to click on continue here, click on get started. Now, the first thing that they're going to show you is the book chapters. Here, I can see that there are spots on. So pretty much this is good. If you don't want to have a chapter included in your outline, well, you can just say, please do not include it. So here, as you can see, we have chapter one. I'm not sure why chapters have been replicated. I can actually fix this. So let me go ahead and just actually go ahead and say, uh, well, I actually just reject double chapters because they're written double. I don't know why I must have made a mistake. Uh, but here, let me just fix this by unchecking chapters that are double. And let me show you what we can do. I uncheck this and uncheck that. Now I'm going to accept the selected right now. And those chapters that are repeated basically will have to go ahead. And I should have done it in the Word doc, but we should have to go ahead and make sure that we remove them. So for instance, in chapter number one, we have to go down slowly and here remove this part because this, this should not be here. This should be sub chapter two. There it is. And we should go, well, sub chapter two, you can actually double click or select this all, all this text. Well, select it so quick and then click on chapter subtitle so that it is a subtitle. And then you take this again, select all of this, turn it into a chapter subtitle, and then you keep going, go to chapter two, do the same thing. Select all this sub chapter, make it into a subtitle. 
and then keep going and then take this. This shouldn't be here, so we should basically remove it. Make sure add a space and then select this right here and turn it into a chapter, chapter subtitle and then keep going. So we'll keep going. This one is a title. This one is a subtitle. So let's turn it into a chapter subtitle. Let's keep going, going some more. Now this one again, let's just remove it and make sure add a space and then make sure to select the sub subtitle and turn it accordingly into a chapter subtitle. Now let's keep going. This one, subchapter, also needs to be turned into a chapter subtitle. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. And then let's turn this one right here. Let's take this and then keep moving. And then let's turn this one again into a chapter subtitle. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. And then let's take this one here. So all I'm doing is turning subchapters into subchapters, sub right? So in order for it to be properly formatted, so let's keep going. Now this one obviously needs to be removed. I need to add a space and I need to take this and turn it into a chapter subtitle. Let's keep going. Okay, so this one, obviously again, let's turn that into a subtitle. Let's keep going. Um, obviously this one needs to be removed and we need to go ahead and make sure this is also turned into a chapter, chapter subtitle. Let's keep going again. This one again chapter subtitle let's keep moving and this one again let's remove this turn this again into a chapter subtitle let's keep going and we finished so now we didn't add any images to the book which is actually quite good uh, if you want to add images just have to make sure that you get copyright images that are not infringing on copyright and once you're done you can actually always uh, insert a table of contents at the top so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the insert button right about here and I would like you to click table of contents. Now this is the table of contents that they actually suggest to us, which I have no problem with. I'm going to actually click on OK. And this is the table of contents, which is quite good. OK, so the table of contents is quite small. But that's not a problem. Now the book is ready. Make sure that you click save from time to time and save it with the proper name. Save it exactly where you want to save it. And once you save that, this means that you will not be able to lose your work. So your work is saved. Make sure to always, always do the following. Um, make sure that you save it from time to time. Let's go ahead and preview how this book is going to look both on phone as well as on, as on tablets. So if I click on preview right about here, they're actually showing me how this looks on Kindle e-reader. And also they're going to show me how this looks on phone and also how this looks on tablet. Now you'd be interested in the Kindle e-reader as well as phone. Not a lot of people actually use tablets to read books. Mostly they use phone and Kindle e-reader. If you check the phone, this is how it would look like. It looks pretty good, very readable. Remember that they can zoom inside of the phone and you can see that our book on the phone is actually not that bad, right? So this is pretty good. And if you check on the Kindle e-reader, you can see that this is how people are gonna be able to see this on the Kindle e-reader. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, once you're done, once you think that this is good, you can actually click out. Remember that if you click on the preview button, you must understand that this is an ebook, which means that elements of the ebook are completely clickable. So if people click, for example, on chapter number one, because this is an ebook, it's not a print, it will take them to chapter number one. And they can always toggle back and forth. If they click on chapter four, it will take us immediately to chapter four in which case they will be able to read chapter number four. And trust me, because of the prompts that we have utilized, the, the, uh, the, the, the quality of the text is actually going to be incredible because we have made sure that we made our prompt signif significantly great. So for example, if you can start reading, Health, Miracles, and Veil, just read through this. As John and Mary continued their vegan journey, they began to notice remarkable improvements in John's health. These immediate benefits were only were not only encouraging, but also served as powerful motivators to stay committed to their new lifestyle. The initial health improvements that John experienced were nothing short of miraculous, transforming his outlook on life and his relationship with, with food. And so as you can see, this is really incredible, don't you think? So now if I actually go ahead and close this, we can now click on the export button, in which case we can export this in two formats. There's the KPF format as well as the EPUB format. 
I would advise you to upload, uh, to export just the KPF format because that's what we need for Kindle. So here I'm going to click on export. This will export the project. Now go ahead and select where you would like to export this. So I'm going to go and export this to the file, which basically contains the uh, vegan book. So here I'm pretty sure we have it somewhere around here. Uh, there it is. And so I'm just going to choose this particular file. Uh, you can give your file a name. So you can say KPF, KPF format, which is the format required to upload a book onto Amazon KDP. It's called KPF format. So if you click on export, this should take no more than a couple of seconds. And if you want to see the file, click here, show file, in which case it will take you directly to the file that stores your KPF format file that is ready to be published onto Amazon KDP. Now that we have the manuscript, the only thing that we need to actually do for the most part is to create the ebook cover, which we're going to do in the next video. So stay tuned for that because I'm going to see you in the next video.